All right, guys, I've asked how to build a video wall. We're going to go ahead and show you how we do it, guys. So first things first, you're going to get four of your TVs together, and then you're going to go ahead and mark all of your studs on the wall in the center of all the TVs. I'll have a link to these adjustable tilting brackets in my bio. They allow you to move the TV up and down real easy. Not everybody can get it level the first time, so that's going to help. Now this hole here is for the soundbar wires. I like these Datacom in-wall brackets. Basically, it's easy to pass your wires through, and it looks professional behind the soundbar. So I have a link for these in the bio as well. I recommend getting a laser such as this one because even if you measure off the trim, that doesn't mean that it's going to be level all the way down the trim. Next, you're going to finish installing your electrical. And keep in mind, you're going to need at least 10 outlets behind this video wall. So make sure you have your power strips or enough outlets to make it all work, guys. All right, guys. So check this out. This is the 2x2 two two matrix from OREI. Arai. As you can tell, we have all four of our outputs here. That's going to be each TV. And we can set each TV to each specific input. So we're going to have Switch, Xbox, Roku, and then he's going to have an extra HDMI coming out the bottom to plug in just any other device. So this is what powers the video wall, guys. So we're going to finish getting this hooked up. We've got to rotate this screen here because we got the bezel at the top. And that way the screens are closer in the middle. So stay tuned, guys. I'll show you how we did it. All right, so everybody keeps asking me, how do we flip the picture on our control box? So it's real simple. On the user interface, we can actually do a horizontal mirror and a vertical mirror. So when I hit it, you see, it flips it. And bam, now it's one perfect picture. Okay, so that's how you do it, guys. Horizontal mirror and V mirror. This is on the uh, 4x4 or Ori matrix. Okay, let's get it. Now here's my favorite part, pulling off the plastic. Oh yeah, just so satisfying. Pulling it off all four screens, guys. Yeah, it should look just flush just like this, look at it. And after that's done, we'll get all our controllers mounted and finish programming the LED lights. Now let's say I wanna put it on separate things. I will click the output, which is our TVs, one, two, three, and four. So we'll click one, and then we'll put input one. Bam, there's our Roku. Let's say I want to put the second screen on Xbox. I will hit output two, input two. Bam, there's our Xbox. Really, you have two styles, okay? You could do two by two. That's going to be one big picture. Or you can do matrix, and that's going to be four individual pictures, okay? So right now it's in matrix mode, so that's why we have different pictures. So now pretty much to control what's on each screen, you have your outputs and inputs. Outputs is your TVs. TV1, TV2, TV3 down there, TV4 at the bottom right corner, okay? So um, let's say you want to put the number two, which is the top right, on something different. You hit two until it beeps. And then we have our inputs, one, two, three, and then four, which is the HDMI. One is going to be the Roku. Two is going to be the Xbox. Three is going to be the Nintendo Switch, and four is going to be the HDMI down at the bottom if you plug something in, okay? So that's what the different inputs are. So let's push number two, and then let's push Xbox, number two. It's actually already on Xbox. We'll push three. That'll be the Switch, okay? And that's how you switch inputs, okay? Now let's say I want to put it back on Xbox, hit two. And then we'll hit two again. Gotta put it back on Xbox, okay? So you gotta get in your mind what inputs and what outputs are what. Now let's make it big. Let's hit two by two. And then let's put it on the Roku, input one. There it is. Now we have one great big picture, all in 4K, okay? Really nice. Now if you did everything I told you, it should look something just like this, guys. Nice, fresh, no gaps. But yeah, if you don't want to mess with all that, then just give us a call. We'll come do it for you. We'll travel wherever you are.